in an existing series or in a grouping of coins, when a price movement is done or released from the original source, there's a ripple down effect throughout the others that have been out there in the marketplace. Case in point, the key silver proof set made by the US Mint every year. And it's being released later this year, the limited edition silver proof set. The government just announced that they're raising the price significantly this year. So that means we have a few minutes to talk and a little while to find those earlier sets at the values, well, that are steel. Look at this one. We're talking about year number two. Now the limited edition silver proof set was introduced in 2012. In 2012, 13, and 14, they were in these massive lenses. And then they corrected it in 2016 going forward, which is each coin is in its own capsule, but in the same box. So all the boxes are all sized the same. Finding these earlier first three years where the coins are gorgeous is tough because the seal allows air into the holder. If you stoyed with moisture in the air, the colors are going to make the coins around the edges tone out. And when you see the coins, there's a slight toning, like that Silver Eagle has a little bit blue toning, blue red around the outside edge, just proves it's original. The quarters on this one, a little bit of yellow look around the edge, proves it's original. But most of them, way, way more than that. So they call this the Silver Eagle proof set because they took the silver proof set, right? Dime, quarter or quarters, and then half dollar, which is the standard issue, San Francisco since 1992. And then they added the Silver Eagle, the other silver coin from the U.S. Mint every year. 2012 started. We're still going to do it this year, but the key is it's the most limited proof set of the year. It's the most limited silver proof set of the year. And they're consistent. They make 50,000 sets and gone. Now this is year number two. It netted down to 47,971. And how does that, how can that happen? Well, if the addition's 50,000 and it's sold out and the government sent these out to you and you got it with a cracked lens or you got it and you changed your mind anything precious metal being sent back to the u.s mint cannot be returned to another customer it has to be destroyed so that just means there was a couple thousand sets that were destroyed at the end of the year in 2013 because it was a sellout at 50,000. my competition sells the proof silver eagle in the bottom left hand corner that w for 160 i'm sorry 100 and $65, just the proof silver eagle. The regular silver proof set, dime, five quarters, half dollar, those seven coins, sells for $149. We can't keep that one in stock. Can anybody explain to me why the bigger set, which has the extra silver eagle in it, and our price is only $30 more? Wow. Now adding in, the government raised their price to $255 a set. And that's the number where it starts in 2024. So there's a couple of sets going back that are under 300 right now. A couple of them. Only a couple of them. 2013 is a glaring set. Second year of issue, low minted. They're all kind of the same. At give or take 50,000, right? Nothing over 50,000. But the breakdown versus the other is important. Here's another silliness to talk about. The regular seven coin silver proof set, right? The government made 419,720 of those sets. And I referenced the price is currently $149. This set, 
47,971. Then it has that big silver eagle in it. Yeah. And right now it is $75 under the government's current issue price for a new set. Whenever something moves, there's a ripple effect to the rest of the industry. We always charge. Silver eagles, one ounce rounds, those are easy. Silver goes up $2, all those slide a couple of dollars, right? Logical, an ounce of silver is up, it moves. But then when you get the other sets, or the smaller denomination coins, it's almost like the math is too hard, so it takes longer to evaluate them. Well, when I saw we had a small pocket of these in inventory, unfortunately only a small pocket, because I'm not going to be able to buy them anymore to make them available at this price, it's great. Guys, one minute clock, please. So you heard it here first. Those prices are going up. You also hear, heard it here first. Let's look at the vintage sets because they've been making this set since 2012. It is a yearly reoccurring set. We love it. It's the last set they make every year. And with the new price going to 255, it's going to shift everything else up. By the way, the same number on this set as the 2012, the first year of issue, and that one my competition sells for $3.99. We've been at $2.99 on that one for a real long time. So tonight, being able to be under $200, and in this case, $20 less than that, at $179.95, that's special. Now the dime, the quarters, and the half dollar are San Francisco issues. This is 2013. There was no San Francisco proof silver eagle. That didn't start until 2018 as a regular thing. So the W proof silver eagle are in the earlier sets. Again, look at that price. Look at this gorgeous presentation. Now the price. That brings it home.